We've got a geothermal here. The reason for the call is the blower is replaced, but it is not running. So why is it not running AC? The blower is running now. There we go. Let's take a look and see what we can find. Circuit one is completely flat, and you can see by our fault indicator light, if it'll do it, we should have three flashes. It'll show. Corresponds right here with three flash code and low pressure. So everything's on. This one's running and this one's got pressure. But I'm gonna try and find the leak. It was authorized. So you're not gonna believe where this is at. Just right on the side of there. There you go. There it is. The tiniest. I guess it isn't that tiny, is it? But Kind of difficult to see. I kept hearing it underneath here, so I was searching here, but yeah, right there. We'll patch it up. We'll make sure we lay on it, around it, around the whole pipe. I'm not having this uh, blow out because I have repaired discharge lines before, and I don't want it to just be something that comes back in in about a week or two days. So I'm going to lay down some braze, and we're going to hit this pretty well. And then we got dryers with this, so let's go ahead All and right. do that. I'm on call, but we're going to try and do this quick. We're going to do the dryer. I've marked there with an X, and I'm also going to redo this. I took off this low pressure switch. I gotta take the Schrader out right here, but I'm gonna redo this port. I do have ports, so uh, we could take that one out because it is kind of jagged right there. It wasn't making me a good seal, so uh, we need that for the future for troubleshooting, so I'm just gonna do it now. So go ahead and do all right, Swap out. this port out. Got the new dryer in, upsized it, and I logged those double wrenched them in and all that i know it may look a little sloppy but got that coated we got it on pressure right now uh we're just gonna make sure it is good we did cut the dryer back and well. going our 14.7 on the gauge 358 on our microns we isolate it see about decay if we pass we'll charge it up it takes eight pounds two ounces uh, i'm just gonna adjust a little bit and then we'll charge and try to match head pressure for discharge on this one as to this one so that's how we're gonna do it eight pounds two ounces in there right, pressures wise it's at about 350 it's a little bit off 400 on that so about 50 or so 55 60 psi off probably end up detaching and i'll get you a uh, reading downstairs of the discharge air coming out of registers i swapped out the caps metal ones instead of plastic that's about good we got 51 coming out this is 74 in the stat gonna move it back up we did satisfy but we are good to go. Thank you.